one of Tasmania's hidden gems, Binalong Bay, with its crystal clear waters, white sandy beaches and breathtaking scenery. It is no wonder this coastal town has become a popular destination for locals and tourists alike. Ooh, but there's more to Binalong Bay than just its stunning scenery. This small town boasts a rich history from its indigenous roots to its thriving fishing industry. And lucky for us, some super trendy accommodation too. Binalong Bay sits at the southern end of the Bay of Fires on the east coast of Tassie. Just five minutes away is the Bay of Fires bush retreat, offering eco-glamping at its finest. Oh, and I'm instantly feeling relaxed here at the retreat. So that is exactly how we want people to feel when they get here. Mm -hmm. I guess the inspiration was really a combination of what we really enjoyed about our own travel experiences, being in nature and camping, and to just blend that, I guess, with amazing food, wine, really luxurious elements to create this experience. What's your favourite place at the retreat? I'd have to say the veggie garden. Oh. Yeah, so we've got a beautiful garden which um, has lots of local produce. And what a thriving veggie garden it is, humming with native bumblebees and lined with rows of vegetables and herbs like kale and rosemary. This is a huge veggie patch for yourself. Oh, it is, isn't it? So the veggie patch is not just for me, it's for the guests to use as well. So oh, so they can come in here anytime? Yeah, so if they oh. want to have a, a gin at night time, they can come and grab a cucumber and some fresh mint. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, come and smell this sage. This is, this is amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. This is really great experience as part of the retreat because you can get your hands dirty if you don't have a veggie patch at home. Oh, they can come and do some weeding as well. That oh, yeah, I'm sure you'd love that. <laughs> can we go cook this up now? We sure can. <laughs> All guests have access to the amenities block where you'll find a fully equipped gourmet kitchen ready to cook up a feast. Don't even worry about bringing your snacks to the retreat. Tom and Anna have set up an honesty system here in the bar and kitchen, so you can grab some of Tassie's finest local produce, beer, wine, olives, anything you can think of, and just pay for it in the morning. I love that. But I'm lucky that I've got Tom here to serve me up something fresh from the garden. Today I'm going to give you one of my favourites, Coal River Brie. Ooh, this looks good. It is a fantastic cheese. Especially once it warms up to room temperature, right. it's on point. Oh, nice. And this pesto is straight from the garden? Yes, that's the garden pesto from all the kale and spinach that you saw out there and oh, rocket. Yeah. And I'm going to pour you one of my favourite beers today from a uh, brewery in Launceston. Oh, well, cheers to that. Thank you yeah, so much I for this. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. Ooh. Oh, that's crisp. Love it. It'll go really nicely with that cheese. <laughs> Along with the huge selection of local produce and drinks, Anna and Tom also have homemade, pre-prepared meals for guests if that's more your style. And when you're ready to turn in for the night, you're in for a real treat. There are 10 luxurious bell tents, each grand in size and comfort. Inside you'll find a cosy reading nook for some R&R &R and your own hot water bottle for the colder months. The bathroom facilities are just as luxe as the tents. And I can guarantee it's the best night's sleep you'll have for a long time. This retreat is perfect for those that want to escape the hustle and bustle and immerse themselves in nature, but a little bit fancy.